knit stitch patterns using knit and purl. Hi guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to Studio Knit. I want to take a moment to talk a little bit about patterns. There are lots of knitting patterns out there and um, what I'm talking about today are knit stitch patterns. And what this is, is with a series of knits and purls, there are actually different textures, shapes, um, all kinds of really cool things that now you are equipped to do with your knitting and purling, making them into knit stitch patterns. So I just wanted to take a moment to let you know now what is available to you with all of the information that you have, all of the experience that you have now knitting and purling is paying off because you're gonna be able to make all these cool things. So let me show you a few of the knit stitch patterns with knits and purls that you are going to be able to knit right now. Let's first take a look at the two knit stitch patterns you've already been creating. When you are knitting every row in your knitting swatch, you are creating the most basic knit stitch pattern, the garter stitch. When you are knitting one row and then purling the next, you are creating the stockinette knit stitch pattern. I'm going to share some of my favorite beginning knit stitch patterns that require just these two techniques, knitting and purling. I'll have links to the video tutorials and written pattern instructions in the description below. Here is the one by one rib stitch pattern and the thicker two by two rib stitch pattern. The reverse rib stitch pattern has a stretchy rib pattern and it's horizontally rather than vertically. If you're enjoying learning about knit stitch patterns, do me a favor, like up this video. It really helps me out. And here are two really popular knit and purl stitch patterns. The seed stitch. It creates a really pretty and sturdy piece of knitting. The Irish moss stitch, also called the American moss stitch, it's similar to the seed stitch, but it has a thicker texture. The basket weave is really impressive. It looks like your pattern is actually woven like a basket, but it's really just a combination of knit and purl stitches row after row. The waffle stitch, it also has a really fun texture and syrup is optional. A couple more fun ones are the caterpillar stitch because the raised purl stitches make it look like a little caterpillar shape here. And the chevron stitch is really cool. You can see the zigzag pattern from those raised purl stitches. Make sure to click the links down below and check out your favorite knit stitch patterns. I'll be adding in more fun knit and purl stitch patterns in the playlist soon as well. Action item of the day. Keep knitting, keep purling, mix it up a little bit, have fun with it. This is just a little knitted swatch. There's no right or wrong. You are practicing right now. And next week we are going to finish up the series, learning how to bind off, weave in your ends, and finish your first knitted piece. We'll also take a look at knitting projects. And now it's time to check off day 12 already in your knitting series planner. So are you super excited? Some people totally geek out on knit stitch patterns and I have lots of really fun ones, some more advanced ones as well on my channel. And really the it's limitless, like the ways of creating patterns are just it's totally limitless and then you can include different colors and it's just crazy so anyway i hope this has been helpful for you to kind of understand a little bit about knit stitch patterns and some of the possibilities that are open to you now that you know how to do all these cool things <laughs> so thanks so much you guys if you haven't already make sure to subscribe join my mailing list and i'll see you next time guys bye